Coastal Watch volunteers conduct surveys and cleanups, but the team also creates public engagement through ocean seminars to raise public awareness of this important issue. Good afternoon everyone. My name's Jo Wilson. I'm here to share my experiences of trying to clean up one small part of Hong Kong around my home on Lama Island. The more people that can get out and clean up and actually touch the rubbish and experience the problem, the better. And seeing that there are people who really care about the planet and really want to make a difference and want to clean up and want to understand the creatures and the marine life that we have in Hong Kong, it's really inspiring. The ultimate aim of Coastal Watch is to change the ocean for the better. So what would Hong Kong waters look like without marine litter? Let's take a look. Many Hong Kong people thought that our land is very dry. The sea 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 is very dry. 但其實香港嘅海洋生態好豐富，除咗紅樹林、海豚同埋魚之外，仲有好多珊瑚同埋海藻嘅品種，孕育住好多唔同嘅動物。如果你有機會出去浮潛或者潛水咧，我相信你一定好似法掘寶藏咁樣，揾到好多驚喜嘅。但係我哋人類啦，都做咗好多唔負責任嘅行為。对海洋环境造成好严重嘅破坏。海洋垃圾呢个全球性嘅问题除咗影响环境嘅外观之外，亦都对成个生态环境人类嘅健康、安全同埋经济构成好大嘅威胁。所以我哋有个迫切性去正视翻呢个问题，集合大家嘅力量一齐去解决佢。其实一个冇污染、冇垃圾嘅海洋系生机处处嘅，我哋去保护海洋生态嘅同时，另一方面都系为紧我哋自己啊，同埋下一代去尽一分力，等大家可以共享一个美丽嘅大自然。The plastic pellet spill disaster of August 2012 marked a watershed moment for Hong Kong's marine environment. This crisis awakened people from all across society, getting them to unite and proactively take action to prevent the spill from creating a lasting effect on our marine ecology. The spirit behind Coastal Watch is to cherish, conserve, and clean up our coastal environment. We can see that different agencies have brought a lot of people to the sea to do daily cleaning. Compared to a few years ago, we don't need to go to the sea every year, but now we can go to the sea every year. This number is very far away, and also many people have the opportunity to see the real world of Hong Kong in Hong Kong. Through this project, the Coastal Watch team has met a lot of passionate volunteers who give their all to our natural environment. Other than urging the government to work closely with the public to take action and clean up our coastal environments, we need to tackle the problem at its source by reducing our litter production, stopping litter from entering the ocean, and increasing the public's knowledge of our marine environment. We encourage everyone to take part and do something positive for the future of our ocean. At this moment, I think we've reached a point where there's enough awareness in the community that, that the action that's going to follow will make a difference, but we're not there yet. When people ask me about our mission, about our aim for the future, I like to tell them that our ultimate goal is to put ourselves out of a job. I would love in 20, 50, however many years it takes, to reach a point where we no longer have to have a Hong Kong cleanup, where there's no longer trash washing up on our shores. And I think it really is something that is achievable in our lifetime. Let's take action to keep Hong Kong's coastlines truly clean. Support Coastal Watch Project and support our future. <laughs>